Well, hello there. I'm going to show you how to do my happy images stitch. And um, well, first of all, the reason I named it happy images is that it's made out of two of the stitches that were the first two that I created. So um, that was pretty exciting. Um, I created the first one, Owl Eye, and um, then I checked everywhere to make sure it wasn't a stitch, checked with all the major designers, and then when I came up with the second one, the twisty stitch, I did the same thing, and that was exciting too that the stitch wasn't out there. So that's the name of the stitch, and the two are combined in it. And um, the loom I'm doing it on is a Cindy Wood, and it's a 5 8 inch gauge. The yarn I'm using is Charisma yarn. So Charisma is fairly, a fairly thick, bulky, and I find this stitch, if you want to get a textured stitch like I have here um, that's more textured, you use an, a really thick yarn for your gauge. If your yarn wasn't as thick, um, then it would look more like this, which is also a really, really nice look. But when you're on a thicker yarn, this is what you have, a thicker, denser material. And uh, just to really look at what the stitch looks like, all the texture in it. And then the other side looks just like this. Okay, and I did do a swatch, and you'll be able to see the stitch better on it. It's the same yarn. I don't have, sorry, I don't have the color run name. Um, I just used a, a little a little bit of yarn that I had left and had rolled up to make this, because I wanted to have a couple swatches, see what it looked like in different colors. Okay, so this is it in the same yarn, but in the gray. And on this one, Let's see which way is right way up this way because there's my cast off. So this is what it looks like. I turn it, you can see all the texture it has. A lot, a lot of texture. And this is easy to turn so we can turn it every way so you can really see it. This is it upside down. Lots and lots of texture. And the other side and uh, the back. And since we have this little swatch, we can really just turn it around so you can see all sides of it. And so when I did this swatch and bound it off, first of all, I saw that I didn't do any edge treatment at all. I just knit to the edge and turned around, and we are not curling. And then we're not curling here very much. The cast on a little wee bit of curl coming up. It's not really curl, though. That's the way the cast on. I actually know that isn't curling at all. It's probably just from laying in the bag. <laughs> but it didn't need very much. So um, it's a stitch. This is a stitch video. So it's up to you to use the edges and the cast on and cast off that you want to use. But I am giving you a link on my channel of the cast on I use and the cast off that I use that matches it. And um, if you wanted to do a different edge, you could. A two peg owl eye edge would work really well with this or any kind of edge you want to do. But I didn't bother with an edge because it isn't curling. And um, I'm doing this just a little bit in because I'm going to do a little sample of the project I'm doing to see how well it works before I do the project. And this is just laying nice and flat. So. <laughs> There we go. I'm very happy with it and the look for the project, the thickness of yarn I'm going to use with the gauge. So I have that all planned out. And so um, the other thing I guess is I'm going to get questions as soon as I use a different loom hook. So this is the Cindy Wood ergonomic loom hook. I like it. I'm not usually a fan of the big, the big hooks because I have little hands, but right here where my fingers go, it's narrowed in. And it just fits so comfy. So I really like it. I can use it this way. 
that's how some people use it because then the thumb goes in here I can use it like a pencil and then my thumb goes in there so it's all really nice so now we'll start out now because I ended this and I'm not sure where I ended it I'm just going to undo the first stitch and it looks like I had turned around to come back and I'm going to pop it back on and I'm just going to end the row by knitting over it and then coming back nice and loose could also slip the edges on it if you'd like I don't use slipped edges unless it just it looks the most fabulous with that piece of work where it works the best I usually use a tighter edge and on this one I just like the tighter edge I don't like those loose loops especially with blankets and things <laughs> but uh, with anything really okay so what I do is this is two rows and what I do is I put two rows I put one row what stitch you're using two rows what stitch you're using and put it on that way I know and if you're a person that starts by going from left to right all the time then you know by just marking that down which direction you're going so and I, I work on a lot of pieces of work at the same time so it's important I have notes so the first row is owl eye so we go over the first peg here knit it off and we come back over wrap over peg one and two and knit them off nice and loose and the loose you can be with this stitch the more texture you'll get but if you work tight it'll still be a nice stitch okay now thou will lie whatever peg you're on is peg one so you just come back over wrap peg one and two and knit them off nice and loose okay whatever peg you're on peg one come back over the front wrap peg one and two and knit them off oh that's the other thing you can use odd or even pegs it doesn't matter okay that's the other question I usually get so there you go there's the answer to that one okay and then we just knit them off we're on peg one we wrap over peg one and two and then we just knit it off we're on peg one we come over it knit peg one and two and then we just knit them off and then we come over peg one and two and knit them off and then I'm just coming over because I'm not doing any kind of a special edge because of the project I'm doing so I'm just knitting it over coming back nice and loose oops I don't want to knit the next peg yet because I'm doing another stitch and there we go and I did want to show you I didn't show this to you very good but here's the cast on I used the chain cast on it'll be on my channel and here's the nice tight edge that I like just doing the edge the way I'm doing it see nice tight edge but if you want to slip go ahead it works fine with this stitch okay now we're starting row two so it's just two rows row one row two row repeat row one row two repeat so on row two we're doing twisty stitch we go over in a U wrap knit it then we're still on that same peg we come back over the opposite direction knit it okay and then from behind we go in front of the next peg knit it in a U wrap we come back and knit over it the opposite way knit it off okay that's all we do very easy stitch every bit as easy as owl eye and I really like this stitch this is the one that I use a lot for texture okay do it with you again we're at the back of the peg we come over to the next peg knit it off and then we come back over knit it off okay and I'm just going to come a bit closer here okay go over in front of the peg knit it off come back over other way knit it off okay here's the peg 
over it in a U-wrap, knit it off, come back, knit it off, and I'm doing it nice and loose, and then over it, knit it off, back, knit it off, and all I'm doing with the end peg is going over it nice and loose in a U-wrap, knitting it off, coming back, and knitting it off. And then I'm going to do owl eye. So I just knit peg one to start off. Then I'm going to rewrap peg one and two just in the back, over the front two, knit it off. Whatever peg you're on is peg one, come back over, wrap peg one and two. And I'm just going to keep on, get to the end of the row, and then come back and twisty stitch. So basically, that's all you need to know. We've gone a little further, and actually, just doing those two rows, we've got a lot more work here. The stitch is just really fast to do, and now we're into the gray. This is a really pretty color, actually, in this stitch. I'll have to see if I can find where I have a whole uh, ball of this yarn. But there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this stitch. It's a lot of fun to do. Um, we'll take a really good look at it. But it's not curling and that's with no edges. No, no pearls or anything. Um, we all knit with different tension. So you might want to check it because Twisty Stitch does have a, uh, have a tendency to have a little bit of a curl. But Owl Eye doesn't. So it just might be that owl eye in there gave the little bit of control that Twisty Stitch needed. But I'm not finding it curling at all. But it's up to you to do a swatch and see how you'd like to use it. You can use it in the middle of other projects you're doing to get a little bit of texture. Or make anything you want where you want more texture. It works in the round just fine. It looks only a tiny bit different, and it still has a lot of texture. So anyway, enjoy, and until next time, bye.